Good morning YouTube. I'm going to do just a quick review of the different software and devices for data logging 1990 Corvette. Uh, one thing I'm going to go over is cables. You got Bluetooth, like this one here, and you have USB cables. And uh, with OBD1, like on a 90 Corvette, you will have a 12 pin connector. Uh, other year Corvettes will vary. Other uh, year cars will vary. Uh, so make sure you have the correct connector for the type of car that you'll be doing. Uh, if you're having a, uh, as far as I know, all the Bluetooth devices, you will need a separate power source because unlike OBD2, OBD1 does not have its own power going to the connector. And if you're using USB cable, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about external power. It'll be powered by the device itself. Uh, basically, what you need to know, other than the cables, is the software. You got AL DL Droid, which is Android software. You can download it from the App Store. I think it's like twenty dollars. You can go to Tuner Pro, which is Windows based which you can download free. There's Tuner Pro and Tuner Pro Real Time. Uh, it's free. Uh, with Real Time, though, you'll get a little ad at the beginning. You can disable that ad by paying a fee. I think it's $39 for the lifetime of the software. And uh, it's worth the $39, I think, because uh, as much as they use the software, it's worth it. I prefer Tuner Pro for making changes. Uh, and burning. I just prefer the keyboard and that's because it's on a tablet and it has a keyboard and uh, it's just easier for me to use. Plus the way the software, a lot of the software for your specific vehicle was developed years ago by people on the internet and it's just easier to use on Tuner Pro when it comes to actually making changes. Uh, you can use ALD Droid has all those features, burning, uh, I believe it has the. I believe you can use the Ostrich 2 with it, which is a emulator. I'll go over that maybe in another video if someone wants me to. Uh, but uh, I prefer that for data logging. I like the fact that you can use it, stick it on my phone on the suction cup mount, use it as a heads-up display. And uh, that's just the way it is with my software. Today. You don't need both. You can do just one or the other. So I'll just uh, do a quick boot up with it. Hopefully everything will connect right. Uh, like I said, with the 90 Corvette, sometimes the CCM doesn't want to play nice, and you have connection issues. That first thing you want to do is take that 12-pin connector, plug it into your OBD port, which is usually under the dash, or should be, and I like to turn the key on. Then plug in the power. Make sure that light, red light is steady. You might have a bad cigarette lighter. Mine is. Mine is a little touchy. Uh, I already have my phone set up for this particular Bluetooth adapter. The Bluetooth adapter will come up with uh, instructions how to set up your Bluetooth to work with the adapter. Uh, if you guys want me to go over that in more detail, I will. But basically, uh, with your app open, you want to go to Connect ECU. And... See if it's connecting. Connecting. Waiting for ECU data. This would take a few seconds. Okay, I'm showing. Readings. There it is. I know I got a Bluetooth connection. You can see the temperatures for the engine coolant, manifold, and oil temp. Battery voltage. See the little light flashing on the... Uh, Bluetooth adapter. Okay, ALD Droid has all sorts of there's an option. You can customize the screen. It'll depend on the year of your car what things you see here. Now you can see like the TPS. That's me giving it a gas. Uh, oxygen sensor. Nothing's running right now. I'll go over that here shortly. And there you go. That's basically it. What you need to get connected. Very 
Hopefully you can see that good. Yeah, you can see all the readings. Hopefully you can hear me good too. O2 sensor ain't warm yet. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get connected and start data logging. When you want to data log, you just go to your uh, settings, depending which so your software, you just hit start data log. I'm not going to bother in this video. There you go. Nice short video on how, uh, what you need to get connected and start it and tuning or data logging. Another good thing to have, hopefully you can hear me, is a wideband. Right now I'm running a little rich. It should be. I have it set to run rich while it's in... Uh, well, the engine's cold and uh, not in loop, uh, open loop yet, but uh, if you want to get started, this is what you're going to need. Everyone have a happy YouTube day, YouTube day, day, excuse me. Ugh.